Like right here, I'm gonna get my arm, he's gonna throw his leg back over, this one. And I'm gonna be in the arm mark, go back. But right here, throw your leg over. It looks like the same spot, but you're not even close. Now, uh, escape, we're gonna talk about escapes and defense on the arm lock today. So this is my favorite right now. Yes. The one that Fabi always does to me. I have the hardest time stopping her from doing this. And it's real simple. So, you know, there's a couple of different ways you can have this. Initially, you could just have your hands together either direction, right? Or you could have like some kind of grip on your bicep and then you could do various things with this hand, whether it's here or here behind the leg or whatever. But for this one, this is assuming we've only got this, okay? So I've only got the gable grip. And when she goes to make her play, if I feel her feet uncross at all, look, I do a little movement towards them and my elbow shucks to the, un to the inside. So the movement with my elbow is there so it's a small little circle with my elbow to lift it up so if i feel yes yeah, so start with your feet crossed maybe and then you start to feel like yeah you're having trouble with it go ahead start to get that finish and then you and see i come and get it with my with my hip right there like i'm pulling into a deep half sort of see that a little motion right there and now from here i want to get my hand under her leg is what I like. So as she continues to make this play, she starts to do things to open this space up here. If I can get my hand under there, then I'm gonna feel good. Now I can go here and start to move on her. Like she really, it feels weird, but she can't really do anything to your arm right there. Like defend it, or uh, offend it, I suppose. You're out of there whenever you're ready, just pop loose and go. But you can control her and get on top. If you can get under that leg, and get her stretching. So, oh, sorry. Right so she's going to pull. I feel those feet come uncross. That's it. That's the play. And now continue. Beat me, beat me. Even here, you can start to let go. Go ahead. Just keep your palm <sighs> down. You can start to find your way out. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Come to me, my love. Don't be afraid to let them stretch your arm out a little bit. Like you don't want that to happen, but if you've got the leg trapped, you're not in as much danger as you probably feel like you are, especially um, if you're not used to being here. You're gonna feel in the beginning like, oh shoot, they're gonna break my arm. They're not, most likely. They, and they would have to be so much better than you and you would have to make a mistake, right? All right, so continue to play. And I want you to get the arm when you can. Even if it gets straight, go. Even if it gets straightened out. Even if it gets straight out. I'm not even using any strength. Do your thing. See if you can find it. Even if it starts to get straightened out, it's hard for her to get her hip in on You feel? Yeah. Can, you break, can you break it down over that, over that hip right there? Can you pull it down that it's way? not enough room. Now you're out, you see. So don't be, don't be too afraid to let your arm get extended a little bit if that's what you need to do to move. Because you're not in as much danger as you, well, listen. You've got five different things probably going on that if you lose connection and focus on any one of those five, you're about to get your arm broken. But if you have the connection and you feel like you've got it, it's okay to stretch your arm out so you can move. Does that make sense? So, Evan, come on. Let's, let's try this with something. Somebody with a little, little side on my hand. Oh, God, it's a hairy leg in my mouth. All right. All right. Ready and play. So no, no, you, can, you already made the mistake. And give me this. Give me this. Uncross the feet. Oh, there we go. All right, and play. I don't want to let my arm go. But it's not the worst thing in the world for it to start getting. You take it, take it, man. It's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world for it to start getting stretched. I just got to be careful. My, like right here, I'm going to get my arm. He's going to throw his leg back over. This one. And I'm going to be in the arm mark and go back. But right here, throw your leg over. It looks like the same spot, but you're not even close. It's about monitoring the connection. Okay, so keep your, keep your focus, I guess is the best word. Keep your focus, know what you've got. Know if, oh, if I lose this, they're gonna arm bar me, right? But as long as that leg is trapped, the arm can straighten a little bit and you got more slack than you think. Ready, one, two, three. 
Dude, what are you and Steven about to train? The gym, the gym mop. 